Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm about to start working on this uh, really cool old school Ford Ranger. I actually wish that they still made trucks this small because they're incredibly versatile. And uh, I'm really not sure why trucks had to get so big. They're worried about fuel economy and all that stuff, yet they add so much weight and size without making the engines more efficient with a lighter weight vehicle and lighter weight engines. Anyway, it doesn't make any sense to me that things keep getting bigger. It would seem to me that they would get smaller. These were incredibly functional uh, trucks. I love them. Never owned one myself, uh, but they're really great. So the plan on this one is to try to do something with these scratches. He's not expecting miracles. However, see what I can do. So we're going to do the one system, which is all I do these days, is my uh, brand new one system. It's six products and uh, lots of different ways to execute getting things done. So I'm going to wash it with the Garradine wash method and the brand new Infinite Use Detail Juice 1. We're going to get it all clayed up and then I'm going to be using the brand new Universal All-in-One to polish this thing. I'm going to be taking care of those headlights which are a little foggy and then uh, doing a complete interior this thing isn't huge obviously um, but it's definitely got some dirt some grime it's got some paint on the seat I'll see if I can get that out but you, you can just see how generally dirty it is so no big deal clean that headliner up it's got vinyl floors I love it this trucks so basic and yet so functional so anyway, super cool Ford Ranger. I did ask the guy if he wanted to sell it, but he said no. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the, uh, the wash and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I'm about to execute the Gary Dean wash method, but the first thing we've gotta do is we've gotta add some Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 to the bucket. I've got a little, about a gallon of water in the bucket and uh, the best way to use this stuff, it was de designed to be a direct to paint spray coating. It works awesome direct to paint. You get all the good stuff, the maximum good stuff left behind direct to paint. However, when you dilute it, it becomes a completely different monster in a lot of different ways. Uh, one of which is it is tunable to your situation. So for example, if I were to sell this customer a package where I wanted to save a lot of time, give them the most value and some protection, I would do one ounce of this in the wash bucket and that's going to leave behind good solid quality protection, but not the maximum. So you have to tier it depending on what you're doing for the customer. So it's a very versatile product very versatile system, if you will. So in this particular case, I'm gonna use a quarter of an ounce, just like the original Infinite Use Detail Juice. I'm gonna use a quarter of an ounce of this product. These caps on the eight and 16 ounce bottles are a quarter of an ounce. So one cap full to one gallon of water is all you need for a thorough wash. Uh, and uh, if you're gonna use it as a clay bar lubricant, I would generally run anywhere from one to four ounces per gallon for the pre-soak. Uh, when I run my pre-soak, I usually am running about two ounces per gallon, and then I'll spray it on and then ex execute the Gary Dean wash method. That's how I do it. So the more you add, the more good stuff gets left behind in the wash. So just think about that. Add a quarter of an ounce to the deal, you got all your standard washing like you've always known with the original legendary infinite use detail juice as you add more you get more lubrication more gloss more slickness and more protection left behind so i'm going to go ahead and knock this out we'll be right back to show you the next steps all right i'm about to use some of the brand new universal all-in-one i've been working on the front of the ranger but i wanted to show you guys just a little demonstration it's about 80 degrees out here today, perfectly sunny. I am polishing this truck in direct sunlight and I wanna show off how easy it is to remove the polish after you've worked it in on a, I didn't bring my temperature gauge, but the surface is a little bit warm. Basically what I'm gonna do is I've got my trusty Harbor Freight DA and a uh, orange 
muffin shine pad, and then the brand new universal all-in-one. And uh, you don't want to overuse it, so three small pea-sized drops is all you need. So I'm going to do half of this tailgate. It's on speed five, by the way. see all the residue that's left. I'll let that sit for a second. And you see, I'm just taking my sweet little time. It's going to wipe right off, which is pretty awesome because a lot of polishes are like concrete to get off once the sun hits them or when you use them on a uh, really heated panel it's difficult to get a lot of polishes off but not universal all-in-one and it is super slick nice and slick and all wiped off with no effort I mean I just showed you just watched me do that so no trickery here it wipes right away that's not the case with most polishes of any type that I've ever used. Generally, you have to work really hard and they're not real sun friendly, if you will. I design all my products to be as direct sunlight friendly as possible because that's the most realistic. I am a pro detailer. I do this stuff for a living. I'm at, I'm live on location right now. I'm at the customer's house, working on the customer's car in direct sunlight on a sunny Florida day. And these are the re results that I get. Awesome slickness, awesome gloss. You really can see, I can see the darkening effect on this side that the Ceramic Acrylics protective uh, products provide and the intense gloss. The reflectiveness of all that metallic is better on that side as well. But anyway, what I'm trying to show off is Universal All-in-One works great in the sun. I'm gonna get back to work. All right, people, this is it. Ford Ranger detail done. Let me just walk you through the steps. So I washed with the Infinite Use Detail Juice 1. So all I use is the brand new One system that launches March 1st of 2019. So in about, uh, wow, what, three weeks? We'll be launching the new One System. The One System currently is six products, and that's all that you need to do an incredible job uh, on pretty much anything. So, we've got the Ranger. I washed with a quarter of an ounce of Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 and the Gary Dean wash method on the whole thing. Then I used the Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 diluted at two ounces per a gallon of water to pre-soak. Uh, and the pre-soak and the lube for the clay. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, so anyway, clay bar lubricant, I use two ounces of Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 in one gallon of water. It's an awesome lube works really well and you're not leaving behind too much protection while you're doing it in fact at that dilution or even one ounce to a gallon you're really not leaving much behind at all so that's the beauty of that product it's tunable to whatever you're doing so you add more if you want more gloss slickness and all that stuff you uh, add less if you're 
you know, depending on what you're doing, you would add more or less to the situation. So, those tires were dressed with, uh, well, first I cleaned them with the Universal Clean and Prep, and I put two coats of Universal coating on them, because the first coat basically seals in the pores and allows uh, a base to be had for the second coat. Um, it does not leave a incredibly glossy finish. However, it also will not sling anywhere. It's parked in that position and won't be slinging all over the car. So that's awesome. And you can see they look great, look very new, but not overdone. After I did the second coat, I actually wiped them down with a black microfiber towel. So, no crazy gloss. I'm not a fan of tire dressing in general, but this will protect and preserve uh, your rubber from dry rot and that kind of thing. So, after the wash with the Garadine wash method and the Infinite Use Detail Juice 1, I used two ounces per one gallon of water as the clay bar lubricant, clay barred the entire truck, then I polished the entire thing with universal coating. And then I wiped down the entire exterior with the Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 direct to paint straight up and gave it some awesome gloss slickness and uh, really good additional protection. You'll notice the door panels were scrubbed down with universal clean and prep, a damp microfiber towel. Everything's clean, nice and natural looking. I clean the headliner, all the seats, all that paint, that armrest is nice and clean. Everything looks fantastic. Cup holders are good. Under the seats, all vacuumed and wiped down. The vinyl floor is all wiped down. Got the door jams really well. And that's it. That's all she wrote. So, if you got questions for the One system or for any of my other products, 813-846-4406 is my cell. I can't help you if you don't reach out. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys who take the time to watch these videos and listen to me babble. I know that it becomes a lot sometimes as far as just the amount of information I put out per video. Um, I got a lot to say. That's it. I want to share a lot of information with you guys. So anyway, this has been a Ford Ranger with the one system. And this was a pretty high end package, not the highest end. We didn't opt for true paint correction, which is not what the system is about anyway. But I did lighten up the swirls, enhance the gloss and clarity and leave the paint looking slick, glossy. And it is very well protected with the Ceram Acrylics Pro Hybrid technology that only my company has. And, uh, I'd say I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.